Hey everybody, thank you so much for being with me here again today. Today's video, we are going over flying monkeys and how the narcissist implements them to continue the smear campaign. So this is such a fun and frustrating topic because I think it's fun, and I say that in jest because just the idea of the Wizard of Oz and the flying monkeys is just always funny to me but it's so accurate it's so accurate and for a long time i didn't even think that this happened to me and that's why i wanted to do this video because i think it's so necessary to recognize just how many people get involved in this process of trying to do the smear campaign try you are trying to better yourself you are trying to get safe healthy whatever it is and the more distance that you try to create the more fear the more obligation the more guilt the more shaming the more abuse gets thrown onto you from all different sources and it's not just the narcissist who's going to attempt to do this whether it's your parent or your coworker or your spouse these are your friends who you call friends your family your coworkers these are your narcissist friends coworkers family there's so many people so i'm going to go through give you some examples of when i experienced this in my life so that way hopefully you can start to take stock of the people in your life and and recognize if this is happening to you so the first time that i really remember this happening was when i started dating my first girlfriend my first girlfriend was a long distance relationship she's somebody that i met playing online video games she lived in another state she was somebody who lived a very different lifestyle than the one that i lived meaning she was goth she listened to heavy metal she didn't graduate high school which isn't important but it was important to my mom right she was living with her mom in a house that their grandmother owned so again not important but what i'm trying to get at is she didn't have as much money as my mom had so my mom didn't see value in her my mom didn't think that she was good for me she didn't want me spending time with her but this was like my first attempt at kind of just some rebellion doing something different I'd been such a good boy my whole life that this was kind of my first <laughs> taste of freedom I mentioned it was long distance so I did go and visit her where she lived a couple times she came out to visit a couple times when I went to visit her I drank a lot I tried smoking weed I tried being goth an emo I dyed my hair black painted my fingernails black um, I'll put some pictures in here so you can see what I'm talking about um, I pierced my ears I tried being different and you know it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun doing something different um, but my mom didn't like it and I knew she didn't like it and that made it even more appealing right leave a comment if you know exactly what I'm talking about um, that allure of she's like you know are you sure and I'm like I love her you know that kind of whole um, that spark of <laughs> rebellion so here we go right she my mom tried to kind of indicate that this wasn't a good idea and for the first time I'm like no this is exactly what I'm doing I'm really happy with this decision so she went ahead and asked her friend my boss at the time well was i working for her i don't know if i was actually working for her at the time she w eventually was my boss um, when i started working at her law firm 
she came over to the house one day and she's just like, you know, Michael, like, I think that you are just such a great young man and you have so much potential and yada, yada, yada. She really tried to do this whole, you know, you can do better kind of thing. And man, I just was so disgusted by it all. I just, I was, I couldn't believe that so much effort was being placed into my having a girlfriend. Like, who cares? But obviously, my mom cares because her whole purpose in life was to get me an education. My, mom, my mom's whole purpose was to get me status, to meet what she wanted. Like, so she wanted me to be elevated to a certain status so she could tote me around to all of her friends and all of our family and go look at my precious little boy. Not what does he need in order to be happy. That was the furthest thing from her mind. It's not what I wanted or needed to be happy. I mean, for goodness sakes, let me have an experience and let me come to the decision on my own that it's not what I want, right? No, no, that's not the point. The point is, this isn't what you want. What you want is somebody better because you're better. That's for me to decide. And at that point, I mean, again, I'm at the, I had just started losing weight, just started like, you know, so I was at 285 pounds and I was down to probably like 220. So I'd probably lost like 60 pounds. I just started to build up my self-confidence a little bit, a little bit. Um, so this was me enjoying that. I'm confident. I want to start dating. It didn't matter. This was who I was comfortable dating. So, okay, so there's that campaign, that smear campaign, right?